We are gathered today on the occupied territory of the Stahopsh people, who have stewarded this land for generations. There have always been indigenous peoples in the places we call home, and there always will be. We are honored and humbled to be afforded the opportunity to serve our community in this space. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, amen. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you this afternoon to bless all the students that are going to be here to walk, the, walk this floor, this special floor. Pray for all the staff that they did their hard work for our students with this, this little network that we have to support these kids that work so hard through kindergarten town now. Bless all the elders and the seniors that will be watching, the students, the grandchildren, the sons and daughters, aunties. Again, put, put your hands up on each and every one of us that's here today to witness this special day. And thank you for the things that you do for us, dear Lord. And thank you for everything. And bless all the ones that need you today. Put your hands up on them and give them strength. Put your hands on their heart to lift it, to throw it away. Again, pray for our general counsel and our CEOs. Again, thank you for the wonderful day that you're giving us today in this special day. Again, pray for all the staff that put their hard work in here for our kids, 9th through 12. Hi, hi, hi. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you again for the wonderful day you gave us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Good evening. My name is Kelly Miller, and I am the principal of Tulalip Heritage High School. Thank you to the families, friends, and community members who have been here all along to support our graduating seniors. I congratulate each of you because I know part of you is graduating as well. I know each of you played a part in guiding, supporting, and sometimes dragging these young adults to this point. They couldn't have been here without you being there for them along the way, and you deserve to be recognized for your role in this accomplishment. Thank you for trusting us with your children. It is one of the highest honors. Nothing about this year is ending the way we planned, but it can't surprise any of you to know I've been searching for an upside to all of this. There's definitely something to be said about having a formal ending to something, 
a graduation ceremony, for example, to mark the end of school and the beginning of the rest of your lives. Without the familiarity of that ceremony, we're kind of left with a pause and then a beginning without ever really experiencing an end to the other. But you get to figure out how to move forward in your own way, on your own terms, and in your own time. So I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that pause will turn into some kind of drive that pushes you to live differently. I hope you go out, experience the world, learn new things, take great risks, stumble, fall, get up, try again, fall again, and try again. And I hope you come back to share it with us all. Sometimes the smallest step in the right direction ends up being the biggest step of your life. Tiptoe if you must, but take that step. Congratulations, class of 2020. Aloha, my name is Keilani Lehua Napiahi. My parents are Stacy Parks and Mark Napiahi. My grandparents are William and Nat Napiahi and Bernie and Tracy Parks. Before I start my speech, I would like to give a shout out to my grandpa up in heaven. Today is actually his 87th birthday. You are always in my heart. At some point in high school, I know we all dreamt about how graduation was going to go just like any usual one would. By walking the stage, getting your diploma, and shaking your principal's hand, and to celebrate your big moment with everyone. Although due to a world pandemic, today is not what we expected at all. It's important that we all remind ourselves how much hard work, sweat, and tears we put in to get here today. Because I know throughout high school, we've all had our ups and downs. And I would like to say no matter what, we all push ourselves to be better. It's crazy to look back at that just four years ago, we were all freshmen starting our high school journey. And now we're all seniors about to go off to college and become adults. Man, really t time really does fly by. I wanna say thank you to all the teachers and staff here at Heritage, including the volleyball and basketball coaches. They all work so hard, not just to keep up with all of our bad and sometimes can be rude attitudes, LOL. But they also really sit down and communicate with each one of us and really get to know us. We are strong and we are proud to be the class of 2020. It is my honor to be able to speak to you on this very special day. As I stand before you, ever so proud of your wonderful accomplishments and this huge milestone in your life, graduation. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Shanta Paul. My parents are Gary Retasket and Howard and Debbie Brown. My grandmas are Lorraine Hatch, and Don Simpson. Class of 2020, congratulations. You all have overcome obstacles to bring you to this day, but look at you, you made it. You did it. Of course, with the help of your parents, grandparents, family and friends, and a few nagging heritage staff members. Okay, maybe more than a few. And you did it. I am so proud of you. I sat for hours, okay days, maybe weeks, working on what I wanted to say to you as you all sit at home with your families watching your graduation. I wasn't sure if I was going with the stay at home route, talking about all the things that were taken from you your senior year, or just focus on the positive stuff. Of course, I live in Shanta's world, so I went with the positive stuff because you all have been living with the stay-at-home stuff for months now. Graduation is a major life accomplishment. As you adventure out into the world, always remember where you come from, the people who helped you get where you are today, and always hug the ones you love. Remember to be strong enough to stand alone, be smart enough to know when you need help, and be brave enough to ask for it, and that it's okay to be scared that being scared means that you're about to do something really, really brave. As you move forward into the coming years, remember each of you have little people in your life that are watching your every move. So make good choices and go to college. Set a good example and go to college. I have really enjoyed our time together and I will surely miss all of you. You leave me with these memories me harassing you to get to class, you harassing me to distract me to let you stay out of class, 
your abilities to make a musical instrument out of anything found in our school. Your soft-spoken voice, or in some cases, your loud voice that couldn't be missed. Your unique personalities, your perseverance to keep moving forward despite what life handed you. And for those of you that stood in the back of the crowd working hard not to be seen, but you know what? I see you. I see all of you. I believe in you. I know our future is in good hands with all of you leading the way. You can always come back and visit. Our journey together does not end here. I will probably still be at Heritage when your children graduate. When our normal resumes, stop by and see us. And when you're ready, I can help you sign up for college. Moving forward can feel scary, but no, you do not have to do it alone. I am here. I will close with a quote I found online. Be bold enough to use your voice. Be brave enough to listen to your heart and strong enough to live the life you always imagined. Congratulations, class of 2020. As superintendent, it is my pleasure to certify to the board of directors of the Marysville School District that the graduates have completed the graduation requirements of the state of Washington. Congratulations. As president of the Board of Directors of the Marysville School District, and under the authority vested in me by the laws of the State of Washington, the regulations of State Board of Education, and policies of the Board of Directors, I certify you, the class of 2020, as having completed the requirements for graduation for high school in the State of Washington and the Marysville School District. It is my pleasure and my honor to welcome the school class of 2020. Congratulations, graduates. Alice Leanne Abawan would like to thank Carrie and Lonnie. Shayla Jean Gobin. Elijah Gonzalez. Isaac Benjamin Hadley Kamenot. Deshay Jones. Deshay has been awarded the Cliff Gillies Student Award by the Northwest District One WIAA in recognition of her achievement in academics, sportsmanship, citizenship, and participation. She wants to thank her family and the staff at Heritage for always pushing her to do her best and never giving up on her during the tough times. Taviana Jones Wynn. Oliver Hunter Kalapa. Oliver would like to thank his parents, Bruce, Kelly, and the boys. John Sonny Kennebrew. Sonny would like to thank Walker, his family and friends, and especially his mom and dad. Joshua Miranda. Josh has earned a one-year full scholarship to Everett Community College and was selected for second team all-league in basketball. He would like to thank his family. Kailani Lehua Napiahi.
Estelle Nicole Allen. Estelle would like to thank Bruce and Kelly. Anna Lucia Star Sandoval. Lucy would like to th thank everyone who has supported her and helped her get this far. Magdaleno Vela. Leno earned first team all league honors in basketball this year and has been awarded the Cliff Gillies Student Award by the Northwest District One WIAA in recognition of his achievement in academics, sportsmanship, citizenship, and participation. He would like to thank his sister, parents, and family who has supported him. Maylin Mata.